Oh my, that's a big hole. Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Woohoo. Yeah, it's a big hole. So I finished clearing out the ocean monument. I dug my way down to bedrock. So this is, oh look, somebody left me a present. Hello, Mr. Flowerpot. Boop. Okay. Uh, VexFX was visiting earlier and he said something interesting. I want to test it. He said he didn't think the little tiny slimes made a noise anymore. And they don't. That's so weird. That's weird. I wonder if that's a bug. I'll have to check the bug tracker. So, here we are down in the bottom of Big Pit. I put up some markers on the edges of where the Theosha Monument originally was. So now, I want to try a test. I want to try something. So, let me get some stuff and let's see what we can do. All right, everybody, so we're gonna do a little proof of concept here. I have this thing built. It would not, this is not what it's gonna ultimately look like, but I'm gonna do a little proof of concept um, in survival here, which is not necessarily a great way to do it. Um, I need more water than I have. Drat, let's, uh, let's uh, fix that. How am I gonna do this? I need one more bucket of water, okay. Um, uh, okay, I'll be right back. Okay, it's it's so weird being that close to water and having to work so hard to get it. But this is a little janky, but should prove a point. So this is a uh, spawning area. It's four blocks tall. So guardians need two blocks of water to spawn in, two blocks high, and the, the block above, the block that they spawn in, the block below can't be um, air or some other uh, block of that sort. So I am going to, yeah, I have to figure out how to get this thing lit so I don't spawn other Actually, it shouldn't matter, right? Because that's all that's all inside. So that shouldn't matter. This should be totally cool. We will test that hypothesis. So, if I oh, if I throw this if I throw this lever, water will flow down and fill up the entire the entire little block of area that I did there. Um, oh goodness. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking. And then I have fence gates down here, of course, to stop it from flowing down any further than that. So, I'm going to leave my stuff here, which I don't think will be dangerous. And I have to go away a little bit. So let's, uh, let's go down below and see if I start getting some spawns. So in theory, guardians should be able to spawn in there and they should start falling down. In theory. I'm the only one on. And other than that slime that I walked by, there shouldn't be a whole lot going on here. Or flew by. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Uh, I have things lit up pretty well around. Ding. And I should be, because this is like Y5? Y4, yeah. So I should be far enough away that they should be able to spawn and I put a cover on it so they don't have sky access. Not really, oh look, I can pick up some of the things I dropped. Yay. Um, and it doesn't have sky access so it should maximize the spawning potential. So I'm not sure why they're not spawning. It seems like they should be um, maybe I misunderstood things that's inside the boundary. The water spots are inside the boundary of where they can spawn. And 
I need to be at least 24 blocks away, but that, I think that's like 30 blocks up, so. Right here should be perfectly fine. They should be able to spawn, but it's not happening for some reason. Oh. Okay. I obviously don't. I'm, I'm missing something here. Okay, clearly I have done something terribly wrong. Um, don't know what, but clearly that is the case. Okay, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to resolve this. So I'm gonna have to play around with him more. What I'm hoping at this point is that I simply did not. Uh, there, there isn't enough space. So this is a three by two section. That's four tall. So really, there's only uh, twelve spawnable blocks inside there for the guardians. That is. Uh, so what I'm kind of hoping is that maybe. The, uh, it's just the chances are rare because of how few blocks there are. So, um, so I'm, I'm going to play around with this. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, uh, with it. I may build out more of this, switch this out to glass, which is what I intend to do in the, for, in the, in the actual thing. Uh, this level should be spawnable and I think putting the, the, the fence gates underneath the spawnable area should be just fine and I think that that still allows so I'm looking at uh, Y30 why can't why looking at Y38 so I need to drop them from here uh, I think there's they have 30 heart they have 30 health so you need to drop them at least 34. This would allow, uh, they would fall from the space above. So I think I would have enough space to put in a collection system down there beneath this. Um, the goal is to keep the spawning all within the lowest sub chunk of the, the monument. So these blue lines here are sub chunks so of course this grid are chunks you know 16 by 16 blocks and they're divided into vertical sub chunks which are also i think 16 blocks 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16. so what i might do and apparently keeping them all within the lowest sub chunk of the that makes up the guardian uh, the ocean monument where the ocean monument was apparently that helps with the spawn rates um, so I may move this up a little bit because I have it looks like we've got four blocks that I can do that um, and give myself a little bit more room down there and this is based on um, a video <clears throat> that I will I will link in the description uh, it's from the the Sidecraft server and they seem to have a pretty good understanding of the spawning algorithms and uh, although I don't need to absolutely maximize every last drop from these guys uh, if we're gonna do this we may as well do it um, we may as well do it uh, to get at least some stuff because I want sea lanterns it's kind of the whole point of building this thing and digging all this uh, out is so that I can get some sea lanterns and also the prismarine blocks but uh so uh so i don't know i'll play around with this um probably not tonight but i will uh we'll play around with it some more and see what we can do in case i didn't make it clear the idea here of using the pistons is to avoid having uh dispensers with water buckets uh not only the the pistons are cheaper uh, but they, in theory, won't get out of sync the way uh, dispensers can just when the chunk loads and unloads. So uh, I don't know. It's it's a thought. I don't know how well it's going to work, but we'll, we'll give it a try. It seemed to work pretty well. So we will play around with this. Um, I have uh, something else. Yeah. Let's see what else I can show you. Be right back. So VexFX built uh, another farm here. 
and uh, in a literal another little representation uh of the flower farm it's pretty cool i like the the, the it, it looks nice here next to the the record the record farm building um so and it's it's pretty straightforward i needed a bunch of yellow dye so um but if you need if you need like magenta dye or whatever you can just come here and flick this on and it dispenses bone meal into one of the the two tall uh flowers that are grown here and ships them off into here and of course we have plenty of bone meal from the uh, the mob farm in the village area so so anyway uh let's go check out how the oh i wonder uh let's go let's go look up top and then we'll go uh, check out the iron farm just see how it's doing oh it's so beautiful look at that there's flowers everywhere um so i i guess xfx hasn't looked at the the uh the roof up here yet i'm sure he will uh eventually and discover all the flowers i grabbed poppies from the iron farm because you know there's a bunch of them there so why not I probably didn't need the rocket for that. So let's see how the iron farm's doing. We had to add an additional chest. Um, cause it seems, yeah, there's, oh, there's, there's, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of iron here and I've already grabbed a bunch. Uh, so, uh, this, the farm gets loaded, uh, sometimes when, and we're not entirely positive when, but we think it, might be oh come on oh come on there we go so there's a new thing going on out over here let me see if I can find it it shouldn't be too difficult to find uh, it's just out here past this village and out oh, whoa Oh, look at this. Look at all the pretty trees. So this mountain area here. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. Let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, so Barb Makes Things has been playing around. Am I going to make this? Yeah. Nice. Oh, wow. She's been making a roller coaster. Um okay oh well that's that's a little cuckoo let's go see how that goes so she made a little she's working on this it's not it's not done yet it's a work in progress i just happen to have a minecart in my inventory let's see what we got and i think oh goodness oh well, so that's where she's at wow that's a pretty dramatic so she's she's working on this obviously gonna lay in track up here um, put a bunch of trees at the top of this mountain when she gets it all done we'll do a little ride uh, it gets a little hairy at night because some of the surrounding area is not entirely lit up but um, and there's a lava fall there's a lot of cool stuff here ouch so anyway uh, that's gonna be really cool when it gets done uh, we will we'll go for a little ride when that happens and oh that that's terrifying through a lava fall oh my gosh okay well this thing's huge and um, she's been adding to it and trying to come up with interesting things to uh, to do along the way hello mr. cow don't get in the way of the roller coaster okay so anyway i think that's uh that's what i wanted to show you um i don't have my clock on me oh man 
There we go. Very nice. Okay. Well, that's it. Um, we will come back to that roller coaster when it's a little more complete. And when I figure out why the guardians aren't spawning, we will uh, we'll figure that out too. And that probably is just simply I have to add more spawning spaces. So hopefully I don't get lost here because I don't have my uh, I don't have my compass on me. And oh look. There's a little oasis. Cool. Yeah, I'm I'm a little lost. But it'll be fine. I have a rough idea of where I am. Iron Farm is a good monument, is a good landmark to go by, but we'll uh we'll figure it out. Okay. Um that's it. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Minecraft Land Party. Blah, blah. And uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Right, bye.